Now student, we are going to discuss question number 10.4 and in this question it is given to you explain why. Number one, to, ke to keep a piece of paper horizontally you should blow over it not under it. Now let us try to understand this situation by this paper. Clear? So let's suppose I am having this paper and let's suppose I want to keep this paper horizontal. Then what I have to do? I have to blow air that is above paper or below paper. Now first let us try to understand all the forces or the pressure that is acting on this paper. Clear? So in this paper we can see uh, definitely you can say an atmospheric pressure is acting in a perpendicular downward direction like this. Clear? And below we also have same atmosphere so we can say atmospheric pressure is acting like this. Clear? Now let's suppose if I am blowing air on the top or we can say over this paper then what will happen it means what I am actually I am doing listen carefully what actually I am doing I can say let's suppose this is indicating a paper if I am blowing air from uh, on the tower over of this paper it means I am increasing velocity on a top and definitely at the same time I can see this velocity becomes less uh, compared to the over part clear now when velocity is increasing so at the time you know very well if we write here p plus uh, half of rho v square plus rho g h this value we have constant clear so definitely if you are talking about data so data is almost same so we can say this will not contribute in any factor clear so definitely if you are increasing velocity definitely we can see on our part we can see pressure decreases clear at the same time you can see pressure is increasing at the bottom so what will happen definitely we can say pressure exerted from a bottom it will be more compared to pressure exerted at the top and definitely at the time I can hold this paper horizontally clear to everyone so this is an explanation of part number A clear now now I can say uh, what about part number B in part number B it is given to you when we try to close a water tape with our finger first jet of water gush through the opening between our fingers clear this is a general common experience let's suppose a water is coming out from a tape and let's suppose you are actually uh, making a very small opening uh, by using your fingers clear at the time what you are doing if I am talking about continuity equation clear I can say a1 v1 this should be equal to a2 v2 clear or directly from here you can see AV this value we have constant clear we can say this value we have constant it means we can say this V is inversely proportional to area clear so whenever we are making a small opening by using our finger it means we are decreasing here area so when area decreases it means definitely velocity increases clear so when we try to close a water tape with our finger definitely the speed of a water that increases clear so this is all about part number b clear to everyone done now if i am talking about part number c the size of a needle of a syringe control flow of uh, flow rate better than thumb pressure exerted by a doctor now listen carefully actually if I am talking about Bernoulli principle Bernoulli said P 1 by 2 rho v square plus rho g h this should be equal to constant so from here you can see pressure as well as this expression of a kinetic energy per unit volume both uh, this is pressure per unit volume and this is kinetic energy per unit volume both are contributing in the total energy clear but we can see if you are talking about needle so for a needle definitely we can see the out the we can see the area through which the liquid is actually coming out this is very small so it means we can say velocity will be more so definitely velocity will be more it means we have here square of a velocity it means this factor is more clear and but let's suppose if doctor is utilizing pressure by using thumb so at the time only the one power of pressure is contributing in energy but here the square of that velocity is contributing in energy it means definitely we can say if we are using needle at the time definitely we can say area is very less that's why we can say flow rate is easily or uh, flow rate is better controlled by this uh, situation clear so this is all about this question clear now if I am talking about part number D clear in part number D it is given a fluid flowing out of a small hole 
in a vessel result backward thrust on the vessel clear now let us try to understand let's suppose here we have a container and let's suppose here i am having a very small opening clear i am having a container and i am having a small opening clear so let's suppose we fill liquid up to this level clear and it is given a fluid flowing out of a small hole in a vessel result in a backward thrust so we can say definitely when liquid is coming out from this hole definitely we can say area is less clear when area is less it means i can say velocity will be more clear when velocity will be more it means i can say momentum momentum that will be more clear because linear momentum is defined as mass into velocity so actually we know every action has an opposite reaction clear so if you are considering this as an action definitely a force will also exerted on the wall of this container clear so we can see uh, through this opening definitely water water or any liquid that is going with a higher velocity momentum will be more and that's why we can see thrust that backward thrust that is acting on this web it will also more clear clear now now we are going to discuss part number e clear so in part number e it is given a spinning cricket ball in air does not follow a parabolic trajectory clear so dear student uh, have you seen any fast bowler so when a fast bowler balls actually first it will take some run up clear and after that he throws a ball clear so but let's suppose a fast bowler throw a ball directly clear so definitely we can say it follow a parabolic trajectory but when that bowler is releasing a ball actually at the same time he he is he or she is giving some twist to that ball clear and due to that twist we can see one part of a ball it is gaining the lower velocity compared to other part that's why we can say a pressure difference is created and we can see that ball is actually deviates from its original trajectory clear so we can see that effect is known as magnus effect clear uh, definitely you have listen about word out swing and the in swing ball clear so out swing and in swing ball it is actually occur because at the time of, at a point of release bowler is giving some twist to that ball and that's why we can see the magnus effect is actually occurring and we can see that actual parabolic path that has to be traveled by the ball but due to this magnus effect that trajectory is not followed clear so this is all about this question